Juan Carlos Chamaya works as a security guard in an upscale Santiago neighborhood. He voted for social reforms and for leftist president Gabriel Boric just a year ago. But now he's one of millions of Chileans who've shifted to the far right. The issue of crime is the reason. The Republican Party for a long time has shown it would take a hard line stance. We elected the left out of sentimentality. Big mistake. Partido Republicano. Chile's ultra-conservative Republican Party was the standard bearer in an electoral campaign for a new constitutional council that astutely focused on the issue that's become a top priority in Chile. Crime, a mass influx of undocumented migrants and drug trafficking. They're not problems fixed by a constitution, says lawyer Paz Zárate, but Chileans took the bait. And people really were voting, voting for brands, political brands. And there was one brand for security, another brand for perhaps a kind of an old-fashioned socialism. And they prefer this time the brand that promotes security at all costs. And they didn't care very much about what they're going to do in this process, the constitutional process. <laughs> Perhaps, but the Republican Party will be calling the shots, with the power to veto any proposal it chooses. This is particularly unsettling, as the country commemorates the 50th anniversary of a military coup that turned into a 17-year dictatorship, headed by General Augusto Pinochet. It is the party that most faithfully represents the legacy of Pinochet, the only one that speaks out publicly to defend the former dictator. The biggest loser is the political center, which suffered the worst electoral losses in three decades. Inside the presidential palace, the election is being felt like a Category 10 earthquake. Without a majority in Congress, left-wing President Gabriel Boric will have an even more difficult time passing his ambitious social agenda. And even though he has three more years to go, some are already calling him a lame duck president. Putting on a brave face, Boric called on the Republican Party to exercise moderation and prudence. But, as many point out, neither he nor political moderates are in a position to ask for favors anymore. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.